I'm Ike Ellis and welcome to Tips from the SQL Consultant. Today we're going to show you the right way to find a poorly performing query and what query is causing hardware problems like a processor to spike. And we're going to do that in four easy steps. Step number one, we're going to create a folder. Step number two, we're going to start Performance Monitor. That's the tool that collects hardware data. Three, we're going to start Profiler. That's the one that will find the bad query. That's that will start trace data. And step number four, we're going to link the two together. So, okay, let's do step number one. Create a folder. We're just going to right-click New Folder, and we're going to call it Performance Demo. Perf Demo. There we go. Step number two, we're going to start Performance Monitor. And the way we do that is we just go to the Start menu and type in Performance in the search. There's Performance Monitor. It's called a data collector set. This is what will create uh, a data collector that will grab all of our hardware data and find out how our processor is doing or our memory. We'll just call this perf demo like we did with the folder. And then we'll take all the defaults. That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and grab um, that new folder that we created, that perf demo folder. Click OK. Save it right there. Now before we start it, what we're going to do is just change a quick property, and that's the duration property. So the stop condition, it, it defaults to a minute. That's not enough time, so we're going to go ahead and put 10 minutes there. And it's, that means it'll stop after 10 minutes. That keeps this log from getting too large. So we'll right-click and start it now. And then we'll start Profiler. That's step number three. Profiler is that thing that grabs us um, all of our trace data that will tell us what query is wrong. So we just create a new trace, and we'll trace the local server. And we'll save to a file, and where will we put it? We'll put it right where we created that folder, that perf demo folder. And we'll just call it perf demo trace. And we'll click save. And the minute we start clicking run, it starts collecting a whole bunch of data about how our system is doing. And once we've got enough data, and we think we've captured the bad query that's making us slow down, we just go ahead and stop. SQL Server Profiler, and then we go back to that one tool where we were the performance monitor where we were collecting hardware data, and we stop that one. And that moves us on to step four. Now step four has a tricky part. You can't just link the data. See how it's grayed out right here? That's what we want, import performance data. We want to link it together in step four. And the way you do that is you have to close the file and you have to reopen it. And then once you reopen it, that grayed out thing is now black and you can go import performance data and grab our counter logs and we can grab all sorts of stuff about our hardware but for us we're just going to grab percent processor time click OK and it links the two together now this data is not too interesting so I kind of pre-baked the turkey a little bit and grab some interesting data and you can see here here's my percentage processor time spiking and if I want to find out why it's spiking, I can just click on the spike, and it shows this query. That query selects star from sales.customer, sales.order, sales.order details. That query is a Cartesian product, and that is definitely the cause of our performance problem. See that 307 right here? And see that 1507 right here in my query start time? What I'm showing you is, as I click into my trace data, you can see the, the red line on the performance graph changing. And as I click in the performance graph, you can see this changing, and it's linking those two things together. And it's showing us exactly what query is running as these things spike. And that's it. That's how you find a bad performing query that's holding your hardware hostage. And there you have it. If you'd like to see more tips from the SQL Consultant, look at my channel right down below. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just click there. And to learn more about me, click at Ike Ellis. Thanks, and we hope to see you again real soon.